Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 15th episode of my RPG Maker VS8 video tutorials. In this episode, I'll be showing you guys how to set up tile sets and explain it to you guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. And if you enjoyed this video so far or any of my other videos, make sure to comment and like it. And if you haven't been enjoying it, make sure to dislike and comment. And let's get started on this video. And let me set my timer. Go ahead and go hit. Oh, no. Been here already. All right. So basically, tile sets are the things, the set of tiles that you use to make your maps. So what do I mean by that? I mean... A, B, C, they're part of a tile set, and each section in A, like this two section and these four sections are another set of tiles. So you could have the, the first section of tiles, which is tile A, the tile A, you could have a multiple sections to it. And then tile B is just one one long sheet of tiles, and then, and then from B, from B, to E is one long sheet of tile, but A have different tile sets to them. So I'll basically be showing you guys what this means. So to make a new tile set, you go on tile sets, change maximum, you change it to one up or how many tile sets you need to be making. And you click on it. First, you name it as everything else. So let's name it this tile set. Okay, now after that, you get to pick uh, what kind of mode you want. Devin, sure. Anyways, you get to pick what kind of mode you want. There's three modes. Field mode is basically if you're making an overworld map. Area type. Area is basically if you're making a top set for... Every is basically if you're making a top set for um, indoor maps, outdoor map, dungeons, and stuff like that. And VS compatible if you're using VS, I mean VX, regular VX um, tiles uh, sets. So let's go ahead and pick area. The first, then we have to select the graphics. So let's start off with tile set A. As you can see, tile set, A, I mean, yeah, the A tab. Is broken into five sections, which is animation, ground, buildings, walls, and normal. Animations is basically like tiles that is animated, such as water and waterfall, meaning that it's animated when you, your character is walking by it and stuff like that in game. So let's go ahead and pick it. Let's make a outdoor map. So you could either pick the ones you've imported, which I'm gonna try to do, or you could pick the ones that are already made for you since i don't know which one is which let me go through these and pick the best one okay there's actually none so let me go ahead and pick okay outside a1 okay now for um ground is basically the floor you walk on so meaning the grass and other stuff like that it's this one, but I want to go through all the options to see what I have. All right, so ooh, is it this, or is it? Yeah, it could be this. Actually, no, that's normal. What am I talking about? So basically, you pick the ground, and as you can see, as I'm picking them, they all at, um they're being added to the master to the to the tile set. So buildings are basically buildings such as this. Don't get it confused with this because these are the walls and not actually the buildings. So pick buildings. A4, which is walls. Okay, that's the last one. Okay. So that's actually, you actually have to be explained. So, um, as I've been recommending this whole time, definitely, definitely, definitely go to help content. And if you want to know about the different kind of, um, um, shoot, if you want to know about the different kind of, what is it called? 
yeah, if you want to know about the different kind of um tiles, definitely go here. Like all those tiles, and uh, it will show you what those mean and what they do. Go to the map section, and because I'm not gonna be covering like every single thing in, like, cause that might take me like hours to do. So basically, although you see only a single. A single I shall explain that to you once I get to the map so for normal is basically this which are the normal stuff okay tile set B I'm just gonna I'm only gonna be doing tile set B just to save time um yeah I'll pick this one okay once you make them um, once you're making the tile set you may notice that you see some X's over here and some circles what those mean they are passage that means the x mean you cannot your character cannot in game pass it unless you have an event or something to, to alter it to alter it so there's no possible way the character can walk through it except for you to alter it circles mean they could walk by it at any time they could do whatever they want they could dance they could moonwalk on it they could just walk over all over it and the ones that the one that you don't actually see right now is a star. I mean, wait. Oh my gosh. Actually, I think you can only do that at the yeah. You can only do, okay. The one you don't see right now is the star. What the star is is basically it puts everything on top. So. Circle puts everything on the bottom, meaning you can walk over it and your character graphic will be drawn on top of it. But star means that your character graphics will be drawn below the object. So that means if I'm making a tree, you make all the branches and stuff like that. You make them all stars. That means when your character walks by them, you can't see your character. You could see some of your characters, but you're only going to be you're mainly going to be seeing the tree on top of your characters. And then you put X for the parts that you don't want your character to walk through. And I'm going to be using that tree as an example. Check up on my time. Seven minutes. Making kind of good timing. I'm not going to be setting all the, pa um, all the passage. But when you're making the map, you definitely want to go through every single circle, every single X. And make sure they're on the right passage. Four directions. This, again... Another important aspect of the tile set four directions mean if it has four star, I mean four directions on it, that means you could walk past it from all four directions. If it only has up and down, up or down, that means you can only walk past it up and down. If it has left and right, you can only walk past it left and right. So and if and if only and if it only have down you can only walk um you can only walk past it down so but that's basically the direction that you could pass through the things ladder this is basically if you have if you have ladders and it will just change that um how your character looks while your, it will basically just change your character animation while they're passing through that tile bush basically just like covers your whole character more than it would to make it look like you're in a bush. Counter is basically things like tables and stuff like that. So that means your character can be able to talk to NPCs even though they're not right next to each other. They're like one tile up that one tile apart. Damage floor. This is basically if you're making like poison floor or lava. So that means when your character touches it, it damages them. Terrain tags. I have no idea what these are. I have no idea what terrain tags are, and they're not vital to your map, to your um tile sets. If you want to go ahead and find out what it means, you could go on the in that I mean on the on the in game help menu, or you could go ahead and go to the RPG Maker VSAs .net and find out what it means basically now let's go ahead and make a sample map with the map we just made so go ahead and pick this house set click ok and since we didn't like set all the pass um, passage so basically these tile set which are the walls what they basically do is like although you only see one you could actually make it continuous and yeah 
could make them continuous, make as many as you want, and they could look like a never-ending wall. Like you could just make them single, or you can make just two. So yeah, that's basically how you make your own tile set. Um, as the tree, meaning if I put this tree right, I forgot which tree it was, but I'm gonna use this one. If I put this tree right here, that means my character could walk by here, and then the tree will be drawn on top of it. But then if I walk, if I try to walk on this tile set it will be blocked and my character cannot pass through it and well that's basically how you make your own tile set um let's see if i'm missing anything <laughs> notes you should know what you guys should know what notes mean um so basically b c d e you could just like pick them and it will be it will be the same process as making B. So C, D, and E is the same process as making B. And then the only different stuff is um tile set A, which is which has five sections in it, which is actually the only Unreal Heart stuff. Okay, well, that's it for this video, and I will see you guys on the next episode. And episode number I forgot what it was, but it's rendering. So yeah, episode fourteen, I believe. See you guys in the next episode, which I'll be making right after this video. Peace.